Hi everyone, I make Excel templates and PowerPoint templates to help people get ahead in their careers and get the most out of their organization and their business. This one we're looking at is the Moscow template where we have must have, should have, uh, we had could have and won't have. So it's a way of prioritizing our requirements. Great for using when you're in an agile team, great for using when you're in a project team or simply figuring out what to do next in your business. Now the first thing we're going to do is just do the general colors and, and, and framing of this particular sheet and that way we can get into the actual formula for the Moscow itself. We might give these a height of around say 35 or 40 and we'll give these a width of around 15. Let's give the header a nice beautiful deep blue. If we just merge and center this then we can give it our heading, place it in the middle and turn that text white and just increase the size a little bit. We've got our project name as well. Just make sure that's got a nice border around it. And of course we can merge and center, turn that to the left and increase the indent just ever so slightly. Let's merge and center this row as well. And this is where we can place the instructions for our Moscow. So we've got must have, should have, uh, C for could have and W for won't have. And we just place an X in the appropriate cell. Let's give this particular bar a nice sandy color. Now we can start looking at the requirements down the side and we'll give ourselves a nice thick border all around the, the edge and start filling in those borders. To fill in multiple borders at the same time, what we're going to do is select the, the ones that we want and select more borders. We're going to give ourselves a bit of a lighter color for, for the darker background and a uh, very nice solid one there. All the in-between borders and now there we are. That's looking really good. Now we can do the same for the rest of our borders um, and for the rest of our table, but we're just gonna have the normal black borders for these ones. Let's give it a nice dashed line and see how it looks. Looking very nice. Now we can add our requirements and if we type that in, we just want that in the middle and over to the right hand side. We'll increase the indent ever so slightly and make sure the text is white and maybe that can be uh, whatever size you like. Now we want our title, so we'll say must have, should have, could have, and won't have. Make sure they're centered and just in the middle. Let's give this color maybe a nice, nice, nice turquoise there. And we can have the text as white and just increase that ever so slightly. Now that stands out beautifully. Now we just want to color these cells uh, as soon as someone enters an X or anything in these cells. So we're just going to select the column that we want and we're going to go to conditional formatting and new rule. And we're saying uh, format only cells that contain no blanks. So when we have no blanks, what we want is a nice green color and maybe the font can just be a little bit of an orange as well. We'll click OK and if we put an X in this one, now all of a sudden that turns, uh, turns the right color for us. But we do want that to be a little bit bigger and in the center, so we're just going to increase the size of that and now that's looking really good. We want to do the same for our should have column and our other columns, so we're going to go new rule again, only cells that contain no blanks. This one's a nice blue color. And this one will just have a nice orange color. Make sure that that's correct. We'll make sure that our heading is just fixed up a little bit there. Now we've got our requirements table and these are the requirements that we're saying. And now we can clearly see when we've brainstormed some requirements or some features or some changes and we can clearly see if we really need that it's a must have or a should have um, or maybe it's a could have we're possibly not going to have it and then we're not definitely not going to have it which is a won't have and that's how you create a beautiful Moscow template to help you with your career and to help you with your business and prioritization even in agile teams and project teams I hope you've enjoyed spending the time with me I've really enjoyed creating this spreadsheet with you and I'll see you in the next video Bye for now.